So in this video, we're going to go through how to do a walkthrough. So in a previous video, we talked about how to add in cameras. So basically, a walkthrough is just a camera that travels through the house so you can see it in video form. So in order to do that, you can go to View. And then where it says 3D View, you can select Walkthrough. Or you can come up here, the little drop down where the house is, and choose Walkthrough as well. But once you select Walkthrough, your cursor is going to kind of change to a, a crosshair. And basically what you're going to do is every time you click, you're going to be placing a keyframe. And at each keyframe, you can change where the camera is looking. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you don't want to click a whole bunch, because what it's going to do is it's going to create too many keyframes. So you kind of want to try to find a happy medium. So as we go through this, so basically let's say I want to start here. So I clicked, so left click, and then um, I want to start curving right because I want it to be kind of nice and gradual so I'm gonna go to about here because I need to leave space to start curving and then you're gonna see that it it tries to curve for you so that way you're not doing like hard 90 degree angles so maybe I'm gonna start coming over here so this would be a next point I want to start turning it here to the front door so I'm gonna put one right about here and you can see now it's starting to curve in I'm gonna kind of adjust it so click here now I'm going to go here, here, now I need to start turning, so I'm going to, let's see here, maybe go right about there to the middle of the hallway, start turning, and then enter into the kitchen. So once you're finished with that, I'm just going to simply right click and hit cancel. <coughs> and what this allows you to do is basically it's just showing right now your your walkthrough in order to edit it. So basically right now we just made the path so now we need to go in and do fine details. So what we're going to do is select edit walkthrough up here at the top and it's going to show a couple new items. So first thing up here where it's in the green it says controls and then frames 300 to 300. The reason it's saying 300 is because right now I'm currently at the end. So I want to select this spot here and press 0 enter and now I'm going to come back to the beginning of my walkthrough. So a couple things, just like a camera, so here is the perspective view. You want to make sure that this area is exceeding the max distance that you want to look. So for example, if it was here, I wouldn't be able to see anything on this side. So if there was trees and stuff back here that I wanted to see, I wouldn't be able to. So just make sure that this viewing range is beyond what you want to see. Also, of course, your pink here is the angle. So in this case, I wanted to just be straight looking at the garage. And then these red dots here are the <coughs> keyframes that you clicked on. So basically, in order to go through these, up here at Edit Walkthrough, so right now we're in Modify, if we click on Edit Walkthrough, it's going to bring us to this. So what we want to do is we're on the first keyframe, we want to select Next Keyframe, and we're going to jump to this one. So basically, as you're going through the walkthrough, you just want to adjust uh, the visual perspective and the curvature, so the rotation here, to just mimic what it is that you want to see. Okay, so maybe you want to see more of these trees over here, you can turn it. If you want to see more of the garage, you can angle it that way. So I'm just going to kind of angle it here, and for sake of it, I'm going to briefly just try to go real quick. So entering into the house, next keyframe, I'm going to turn this one so it's looking straight. Next keyframe, we're starting to turn right, so I'm going to angle it just a little bit, and that one's good, <clears throat> that one will be okay. So this one's like angled all the way over here, I'm going to angle it, just rotate it a little bit so it's looking down the hallway. Next one is still good, and then this one, maybe I'll turn it just a little bit, and that's way too far. There we go. So one thing that you can do is if you switch your frame to zero, go back to edit walkthrough and if you click on play it's going to show you the rate in which the camera is going and it's also going to just run through and show you so your walkthrough is going to take the same amount of time as it shows the camera going through your path so i'm going to show you how you can actually see it in camera view here in just a second so you can watch it see the speed that is going um, if you want to cancel it just hit escape and you're going to get this little box that pops up. 
So in this case, before we do jump down here to our walkthroughs, so I'm going to go back to level one. And right here you can see, so the walkthrough is still there, so I'm going to click on it and do edit walkthrough. Uh, right here where it says 300, if we click on here, it's going to bring up a box. It says frames. So when you create a walkthrough, it's standard, I believe, is going to set at 300. Depending on how long your walkthrough is, if you keep it at the frames of 300, you're going to be absolutely flying through the house or whatever the building is. It's going to be extremely fast. So one thing is if your walkthrough is too fast, you can either increase the frames, so maybe go up to like 600, 900, 1000, or you can play with the frames per second. Um, by default, it comes in at 15. Do not go above 25 because it's not necessary. It's just going to make the file much larger. It's going to be is not really going to help. If you go more than 25, it really doesn't do anything. So anywhere between 15 and 25 is good. And then if you run into a situation where there's an area where you need to slow it down, and it's just an area, let's say between this keyframe here at the dining room and this keyframe at the kitchen, what you can do is turn off this uniform speed here, and then go down to those two specific keyframes, and then you can change this accelerator to like 0.5 or 0.6, whatever it may be, and it's going to slow down that spot. So for example, if we type in 0.5, hit enter, we're going to see that the speed per second here at keyframe 9 is now 3 feet per second instead of 6 feet per second. Uh, so just in case that ever happens to you, if you run into a room where the camera like absolutely flies through it, but every other room is still good, just go in and adjust that keyframe speed. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel on that. And then uh, when I left click here, it basically said, are you done editing? So yes. So once you create a walkthrough over here in your project browser, you should see a spot that says walkthroughs with the plus sign. If you double click on walkthrough, it should bring up a box that shows you basically a camera view. So just like with a regular camera, if you click on the outside box, you can drag the blue nodes and increase your perspective as far as what you can see. And then in order to watch it from the camera view, we have to select edit walkthrough. So we're going to go edit walkthrough. And then just kind of like when we were in level one, we have this like next keyframe, um, next frame, play. We still have our frame options here. And then also down here at the bottom, our visual style, we can change that. So maybe I want to do consistent colors. And then in order to watch it, all I have to do is click play. And it will show you the walkthrough that you created. So again, if you run into a situation where you're flying through, it's going way too fast, you just need to change the keyframes. Um, I'm sorry, you need to change the frame number or the frames per second. And then it'll slowly go through. Um, in the end, you can render uh, these. You can also do realistic instead of consistent colors. And then you can save this as basically an MP4, uh, a video file. The only problem is when you do export these, they're extremely large files. Um, so you kind of have to decide whether or not it's actually worth it because the file is, is very large. Okay, so in this one it says, do you want to quit editing and walkthrough? Say yes, just because I'm all finished watching it. And basically that's about it uh, with walkthroughs. The only other thing that I can think of is when you go back into level one, we can see that the walkthrough is gone. Okay, so at any point, if you ever need to adjust this walkthrough and you go to the level in which you're on and you don't see it, simply just go to the walkthrough, left click, then right click, and then choose show camera. And then it should show the camera for that specific walkthrough. So you can have multiple walkthroughs. Um, so if you're looking for a specific one, you just right click, show camera. And now I'm able to click on it, edit walkthrough, and make changes if need be.